Welcome to Saw Stop. This is America's number one selling table saw. We have over 50,000 of these saws currently on the market, in shops, in people's use right now. Uh, my name's Toby. Now I grew up in a woodworking family. When I was a kid, I was out in the shop with my dad, smelling sawdust, getting glue in my hands, making things. We didn't have one of these, and we never had an accident. My dad's still a woodworker. He's still out there making dust, making things. When I started working for Saw Stop about a year ago, I said, Dad, you need to get one of these in your shop. This is what you need. Everybody needs one of these. And he said, that's really cool. I like the technology. But my Delta, I've had it for 30 years. I don't need it. I don't want it. Not for me. So, three weeks ago, I was in Kansas City at a, a woodworking competition called Skills USA for, for high school kids to make uh, projects and, and win. My dad calls me up on the night of setup and he says, I just cut the tip of my thumb off on my table saw. So he's driving down the road. He's calling me on his, on his speakerphone. He's got his hand wrapped up. The shop's not at his house. He has to go tell his wife, my stepmom, that he did this. And uh, I'm like, Dad, are you, you know, is it going to be all right? Are you going to be able to put it back on? And he's, it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, the kind of thing where you can put it back on. The skin was gone. There was nothing to put back on. So goes to the ER, gets fixed up, co-pays, lost work, all that kind of stuff, right? Dad, are you ready? You're, you're, you're healing up. Are you ready to get a saw stop in your shop? No. I can't afford it. I just spent all this money on the co-pays. I got the Delta. There was a fluke accident. It's never going to happen again. Not to me. I've been doing this for 40 years. He went out there to start up the saw. He couldn't even he couldn't even hit the paddle on the saw to start it up. It freaked him out. He called me and he said, "All right, let's get the saw stop in my shop." It's very powerful. This is the best saw you can buy without the safety system. The safety system brings it to another level of responsibility for you, for your employees, for your family, for your friends. Anybody that you know that has a saw, it needs to be one of these. So, how often does an accident happen? It happened to my dad only once in 50 years. That doesn't seem like very often. Every nine minutes, somebody in America has another accident. It happens way more frequently than any of us could even imagine. That's not nine minutes on an eight-hour shift. That's every nine minutes, 24 hours a day in America. Somebody's going to the emergency room with a table saw accident. Every nine minutes. Ten people a day have an amputation. This is a really big deal, and this is the answer. So, you buy the saw, you get it in your shop, you're safe, now what? What does it take to, you know, what if that same accident happened to my dad, happened on a saw stop? He would have had a nick on his finger, a little paper cut maybe. The saw activates, deploys in about five milliseconds. That's ten times faster than a car's airbag going off. When you touch the blade, it stops and it drops below the table. So then what? Maybe you go in the house, you clean your shorts out, you come back. Five minutes to change it out to a new cartridge and $69. The saw is back up and running. Instead of calling me with a bloody towel wrapped around his thumb, he would have been calling me saying, that thing saved my thumb. And it's back up and running, and I'm still making my piece of furniture. Right? That's where we all want to be. We all want to be that person, not not the bloody thumb person or the, the ice bucket with fingers person. So it's safe. On top of that, it's the best. This is the definition of industrial grade. The, the, the flatness of the table, the thickness of the cast iron, the power of the motor, the smoothness, the precision of the fence, everything is absolutely top-notch. 
you're not giving up anything. In fact, you're gaining something. This is the best. It's the best of both worlds. So, I've already talked about my dad's excuse. I've heard a lot of other excuses. Some people think that this piece, instead of costing $69, costs $500. And that's not true. It only costs $69. That's the cheapest finger you've ever bought, okay? Other people think the saw costs $20,000, and it doesn't. This one right here is about $4,000. It's affordable, and it's the best. We don't want to be this guy. He's actually has his fingers had to be fused back together. We want to keep all 10. So after that, that story and that demo, or the, uh, the presentation, I wanted to actually show you how it works. Show you how fast it happens. Show you what five milliseconds looks like. What I do is actually use a hot dog instead of my finger. So, the blade guard is the best in the industry. It actually helps us achieve 99% dust collection, which is something that a, a table saw user never would even imagine that they could achieve. The way that it does it is actually, it uses the, the fan action of the blade as a high pressure, pushes the dust up into this blade guard and out the back, which can be collected to your dust collector. So, what if you can't use a blade guard, you're making a narrow cut or it's in the way or you just plain don't want to have it there? No tools, pull the throat plate out, blade guard comes out, no tools, seconds. And then every saw comes with a riving knife. The riving knife slips right back in there. Throw plate. And now you're in the other operation. So it's it's moments back and forth. Very, very easy. So I've got the blade all the way up. I've got the blade guard off. Um, normally you wouldn't have the blade guard, the blade up this high. And I'm only doing that to, sh to demonstrate how it works. So you can see a little bit better, obviously. So come on in a little bit. I want you to, to kind of attempt to see this the best you can. Um, the first thing you do that's got a, a lockout tag out power down here, which I have on. And then there's a, a primary power switch here that when I first turn on it, it goes through a diagnostic check. The saw is actually making sure that that brake cartridge is installed and that it's working properly. The saw won't work unless it's safe. So I've got a solid green light. That lets me know that it's armed, that's ready to use. Pull the red paddle switch out, and I'll do the demonstration. You guys ready? Come on. Yeah. That's very oh, lackluster. All right. Wow. So, come on in. Check this out. It's barely a scratch, barely a nick. 